Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I am on to the second sleeve on Claudette's cardigan, she'll be happy to know. I'm on the home stretch. <laughs> Not be long now. But I'm doing a little bit of this before I go down my granddaughter's. Um, I'll be taking something else down my granddaughter's. I have plenty of other things <laughs> that I can be knitting uh, while I'm down there. And it is a rotten miserable day to day to so nothing else but rain all morning. And so I don't think I'll be sitting in the garden this afternoon. So I'll probably be in the house with the kids tormenting me. But I have finally been able to apply to monetize my other channel, Sheila's Just Knitting. It's over 4,000 viewing hours now. I checked this morning and so I went through all the process and they say it can take up to a month. But it didn't take that long before. Um, and when my granddaughter monetized hers, it didn't take long for hers either. I suppose it depends on how many applications I've got to monetize and I'm already I've already got the um the AdSense account because uh, I'm already in the YouTube program so partner program that's what it's called the YouTube partner program so it'll not be that, that too long and then I'll be able to upload the um <coughs> be able to upload the little the little tutorial I did for this cardigan, but um, anybody wants the um, the PDF, they can have that any time if they just send me an email. I do have it in PDF format uh, for that. And I am wearing one of my, put my hair out of the way. I just washed it this morning. I haven't put it up yet until it's dried properly. But I'm wearing one of my cardigans that I used that little bubble machine on, that de-bubbler or whatever you call it. <laughs> and this was one of my cardigans I knit with Aldi's wool and it was terrible for fluff. There was always little bits of fluff sticking all over it. And I used used to use a little pair of sharp scissors to go around the, you know, the, the worst parts and cut them uh, off and that. But it makes a big difference that bubbler it actually it actually looks like new like it was when i first knit it because i like this cardigan i like the pattern but i would never wear it to go out anywhere particularly like when i do my bingo on a, um, a thursday night because i thought it always looked terrible with all that bits of fluff but it is still one or two places um because when i did it i had it like flat on my bed but i think you need it to be on a hard surface when you're doing it like your ironing board because there is quite a few places I've missed. I'm going to go over it again with the um, the thing. So be each time I wear, wear one of my cardigans, I'll put it through. Because most of my cardigans and sweaters that I've got are all made with Aldi's wool. Because that was the wool I used to buy before I started on YouTube, actually. <laughs> because it was cheaper than all the um, the rest. That was one of the reasons as well. I have one or two other things, you know, that I've knit with other um other wool, but most of it was with um Aldi's. But like I'm saying, I'm going down my granddaughter's the um this afternoon and she messaged me on Messenger this morning. She's already got a um a channel where it's, it's sort of more or less just a life and her life with her and her kids and the things she does and all that. Um and she got that monetized a little while ago and I kept telling her um she has an Etsy shop and she does things like um slides and hair bubbles and earrings and th things like this, like key rings. That's one she's done for me with um my initial. I've got another one with a um a heart a heart on. And these are the sort of things she does for slides. There is a one pair of slides and another pair 
I have a pink pastry done for me and can I I'll find them? I don't know what I've done with them. They're in the house. I've hunted the house for them. Cannot find them. But when Cheryl first done these ones, she made them like that. She made me a pair like that. And I say, Cheryl, cheeky me. I like them both the same in my hair. <laughs> so she had to make me another set like, <laughs> like that. Oh, and she says, Nana, honestly. So they are the kind of things she does, and she also does. I get them all. All of these hair bubbles, and I've got loads of them she's done for me. There's little, small, you know, thin ones. Just a little thin one. And then she does these ones, the, the bigger ones. I prefer the little smaller ones, as I've told her that, like. All of these, and then she done that one. That was the Jubilee one she done for me. And this is another one. I think this has got little characters in. They look like they're off um, Alice in Wonderland or something like that. So them's the sort of thing she does. Well, she messaged me on Messenger, on Facebook Messenger this morning and... Uh, there was a link to a, a new channel. She started a new channel just to show what she does with that, um, the resin because that's what she makes at earrings and the, um, the slides and things like that with. Um, and I had told her um, quite a while ago that she should do another channel just doing things like that to let people see because I see people are interested in those kind of uh, things. So she did, she's finally got it sorted and she sent me the um the link to the, the channel this morning. I've had a look at her channel and so I'm giving her a shout out and one or two of quite a few of my subscribers have subscribed to her other channel, I know that. So you might like to see a um a new channel and if you don't if you don't know, if you've never seen any of her um a video, you'll like her because she's a bit like me. She takes after me with her mouth. She's got the gift of the gab. <laughs> I think it runs in the family. Her dad was the same. <laughs> so I'll put a link to a new channel and a other channel in the description box. So if anybody wants to, to take a look and maybe give her one or two subscribers just to help her start out. Because I actually have three channels all together. I have my Sheila's Knitting Tips and Sheila's Just Knitting. And I also have another like channel um, about Superman, which most of you aren't interested in. So I subscribe to her from all three, three of my channel shows. So she's got, three, she's got at least three subscribers from me today. So just take a look at her, her channel and make her happy. Give her one or two subscribers. If she gets them, she'll be telling me when I go down this afternoon. <laughs> telling me all about it. And I am, um, like I'm saying, I'm on to the, the last sleeve on Claudette's cardigan. But I'm going to take something else down to knit while I'm down my granddaughter's. Because I don't like doing like orders like this, you know, little things I might do. So I haven't made, made my mind up whether to take this little little pink one that I'm doing this is an order this one there you don't know that to take that one and do a bit more of that one or I am doing a tutorial for this one and it'll be a pdf when I when I get it all finished so I could do maybe one of the sleeves on that one <laughs> so I've got that one I could be doing and I also started a 28 inch on the rosebud because I've done a tutorial for it. But I did it without knitting anything. So I've done the back, the front and one of the sleeves. So I could maybe take that down and maybe do a bit of that to finish that. But that's already the tutorial, the, um, not the tutorial, the... Um, the instructions for that is in uh, the P PDF format. So I could take that. Oh. oh, this is another order I was doing for um 
or Sarah. This is the same pattern as the, the cardigan I'm wearing. It's one of my favourite patterns. This one actually, um, it's funny, but this is the only thing I have knitted in it. I've never knitted myself a sweater or anything. I don't know why I haven't knitted anything else in it, because I really like this one. It really it looks nice when it's when it's knitted up, but you can see closer there. It's only just just a small basket stitch one that that one is the um the pink one I'm doing this mixy one I'm doing this one is a larger version of it so you can see the basket stitch is a larger version and I managed to not perfect but I managed to match up the um the colors on this one like the the stripes it's not exactly perfect but I managed to match them up by cutting off the ball at certain places and finding out where I could start the right colour in the <laughs> thing. So I've got little bits of this to, to join on again. Because I think these ones look better if you can match up the stripes on them. And I have got other things in my bag down there as well after. I've got a cardigan I'm knitting for myself. I may get round to that one day. I've got so many things. I think I need to, to go. As soon as I finish these orders, I'm going to go doing these other things I'm in the middle of and finish all of them because they do take quite a, take up quite a lot of room in my bag, actually. I'll fold that one up a little bit. Put that in my bag so it doesn't unravel. So I am getting as much done of Claudette's cardigan before I go down my granddaughter's. It's only just after 12 now. It's only quite up. I'm going to get some lunch in a, um, a minute. and So I'll be putting my knitting down and having some lunch before I go down my granddaughter's. And I'll be getting my tea then and I'll be back till later. So I'm doing a video now before I go down. So don't forget, look in the description box under the video and you'll find the link to my granddaughter's channels there and just take a look. You might like what she does because she's a bit like me. She should talk your head off. <laughs> so thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you later. So bye for now.